All right, so I wanted to start brewing my own beer, so I went ahead and ordered a German. I believe it's German. Um, it's a uh, provincial right here. I guess it's called uh, Spindle. It's eight gallons. I mean, I don't know why I'm gonna show you the inside, but there's the inside. It's pretty durable. It's a uh, thirty, yeah, thirty liter. Um, so the only bad thing is there's no like markings telling you where the you know the level is so i'm probably gonna fill up like gallon after gallon and mark it now i didn't know it came with an airlock already um and a um sp spigot so i didn't have no idea so i ordered <laughs> Two and already had it, so I guess those will just be back up for now. And here's the little rubber seal when you put the airlock on there. Um, this is what the bottles I'll be using. It's just one of them. I'll order 25 of them, and these are what the bottles will look like, and they come with their caps. So I figured, well, I'm gonna need a big pot, so I believe this is around roughly five gallons. Yeah, so um, so we'll have that brewed in. Um, there's one thing I am missing. I need to get quart sanitizer, so I'll have to I'll look at one more. Didn't have any. This is a um, brand I'll be brewing, but there's the front of the box, and then there's the other side. So it'll be an Oktoberfest of five gallons. So let's go ahead and just do a little quick opening. Let's see what it comes with. All right. And get your little instructions here. I don't know if anybody wants to see that, but or if you can even read it. So there's that. We'll put that there for now. So it looks like you got some green here. Three green, three bags of green. You got your little looks like a cheesecloth with a uh, here yeast packet of yeast. But yeah, those are light, there's your dry malt extract, okay. And then you'll have your grain here. And then this is the type of yeast they give you. And then your hops, yeah, hops. Right here. Pretty simple to do. And if you have trouble, I mean like I said, it, just, it, t it tells exactly how to do it. I've done this before, but it's just been a really, really long time since I've done it. Um, what, what, I like that, about to breathe some damn good beer, so I'll try to get this done Saturday, and then maybe record a video of it, um, maybe not, I still, like I said, I still have to get quart sanitizer, I think for the most part I'll have everything in the thermometer, I can get those easy, um, at Walmart, I just gotta figure out where to get quartz sanitizer. I know you can use bleach, but I really don't want to fiddle around with bleach and dilute it. So, but that's the setup. Um, I will go ahead and post a link or or under the description how to get that. It's right off of Amazon. All this stuff come off of Amazon that and uh, except the the pot and and then you get the bottles. So all right, so stay tuned. I guess hopefully I'll get this done soon.